am Vardar Sharma, editor News Band, daily English newspaper of Navi Mumbai. Today we have with us Mrs. Vrishali Magdu, who is the coordinator of Stri Mukti Sangatan, Navi Mumbai. She has worked as professor in Karmavir Bhavra Patel College, Vashi for 33 years. Recipient of several awards and accolades, Mrs. Magdum is affiliated with various organizations and is member of several committees. Welcome, ma'am. Yes. Thank you. Uh, first of all, we would like to know, uh, Mrs. Magdum, why and when did you think of uh, taking the social service path? Um, good morning, Varada. And uh, inviting me on the platform of uh, News Band. So, as you asked me uh, when I have started this uh, work for social cause, uh, I have started it in 1986 when I came in Navi Mumbai. Uh, I was working in the college, and uh, I used to tell that uh, five to six hours I work in uh, uh, college, and then again five to six hours I work for social cause. Almost I am doing two jobs. Uh, college also supported me a lot in my uh, social work. Uh, even in college, I did a lot of work. I was chairperson of uh, Women Development Sale, Community Extension Services, a Publicity Committee, and so many other committees. So, uh, when in 1986, when I started my work in Navi Mumbai, so initially I was associated with the counseling center. Uh, we call it Kautumbik Salla Kendra. And through this Kautumbik Salla Kendra, actually we used to solve, today also we are solving, solving uh, family problems. And uh, uh, family problems, listening to sites, then giving them legal aid, besides visiting a home visits, police station visits and all that, whatever relief as uh, the girl wants that we uh, are giving. Even uh, it is not like that people say that Sri Mukti Sangatna, then only uh, women are coming there with their family problems. Men are also coming. So whatever unjust, so that uh, we try to give the justice, whether that is the boy or girl that we don't see. So I was you uh, working in family counseling centers and other, we are having crash in a Kokon uh, uh, and other activities we are doing, seminars and legal awareness programs, other things even. But in 2000, uh, Sri Mukti Sangatna has decided to unite West speakers. And then I thought uh, I would like to involve in that work. And then uh, how, I was involved in that work, 2000, uh, the dumping ground was on Kopar uh, Kherne, now it is in Turbe. So I used to go in Kopar Kherne dumping ground with my scooty. I used to go inner part of that dumping ground and the world as these women, they are living. It was really shocking for me as uh, they used to put their hands in the dirt and uh, they used to segregate dry and wet garbage, which is thrown by uh, other sections of uh, society and dry waste, that is their livelihood. So uh, they were working in such an unhygienic condition and pathetic situation. So that made me as I have to work for them. And then uh, the dumping ground, really you cannot stand two minutes there. And they are working for 10 hours, 12 hours. And uh, they are having many health problems. They are under superstitious uh, family problems. Even their children are not taking education. Small children used to come on dumping ground. And so that's why we had decided we have to work for them. And uh, so that we have undertaken the project. Last two decades, we are working with them. So to bring them uh, from this vicious circle. And then uh, we have started uh, doing work for them. So what kind of help is being rendered by Sri Mukti Sangatan to these web pickers? Yeah, uh, just uh, I will go ahead how we started the work and uh, now at present uh, where we are. Uh, I would like to share that. So in 2000, uh, when uh, we used to go on dumping ground, I myself used to go, but with me as our Sri Mukti 
Sangatna team used to be with me. And then uh, when we used to go in dumping ground, uh, they never responded initially. They never trusted us. Why these middle class women are coming here and they are asking so many questions and uh, what is their purpose like that? So it is really the work of tenacity. And uh, then slowly uh, we started, uh, gradually we started uh, creating a trust with us. We did some uh, help them in dumping ground. And uh, then uh, we helped them in giving them ration card. Some health problems were solved even. Some uh, educational problems were solved. Then slowly what we did, first we worked for them and then we started making their groups. So then they trusted and then we started, we decided that uh, we'll fill the survey forms. Survey forms, we get all the information of them and their family. After filling the survey forms, then we decided that we'll make their groups, saving groups we call Bachat Gut. Uh, then we made the saving groups Bachat Gut and then now we have to open the accounts in the banks. While opening the first account in Vijaya Bank, I had such a problem. They were not interested. They were not willing to open the account of these women. Initially, I went in Koparkana Bank. They were not ready. Uh, they sent me back thrice. All these women were there. They were working in the dumping ground. But if they want to come on the bank, they used to come uh, by wearing uh, good saris and all that. And then they used to go back. And then Washi Bank also I tried for twice, thrice. Then one day what I did, I went in the manager's cabin. I sat there. And I told him, you give me return as you cannot open the bank accounts of these whist pickers. He kept quiet. I sat there half an hour. He didn't ask me a single question. I didn't spoke with him. I didn't speak with him. And then after half an hour, uh, I told I will be I will be going to sit here only until you are not giving me return. Uh, then uh, he thought uh, something. He called uh, his assistant. He told that uh, go and open the bank account. So that day, the first bank account was open and then our path was easy one. Today, actually, almost we have uh, united 1,000 waste pickers in Navi, Mumbai and Panvel. And we have opened the bank account. So almost 43 saving groups we have done. Then in 2009, uh, actually, uh, we used to go to NMMC and asking for identity cards and so many dumping cards. They should get the water, they should get the other facilities also. We were fighting for that also. Then in 2009, uh, we have formed Federation, Parisar Sakhi Vikas Samstha. And through this Federation, we are taking a lot of projects. That is, our objective is that they should come in a mainstream. So it is related with environment. Their work is related with environment. They are making garbage less. Amara kachra a waste pickers kam kar rahi hai, paryavaran ka kaam kar rahi hai. Phir bhi hame kuch unki dakhal nahi hai. So then we decided that uh, federation uh, was formed, uh, Parisar Sakhi Vikas Samstha. Then we requested NMMC to issue them identity cards. And today, all of them are having uh, identity cards issued by NMMC. That is the one positive step that they got the right something, some identity they got through these identity cards. Like this, we went ahead. Uh, just I told you, they are working in unhygienic conditions. Their BP is always low. They are having skin problems. They work in the dirt. That's why they are having eye problems also. So we conduct various uh, camps also, medical camps general health checkup camp, eye checkup camp, like that. And then uh, we provide the medicines. So All India Chemist Association, they are giving us free medicines. Last 20 years, they are providing us. Uh, then uh, LND has given us uh, mobile clinic. Then they don't come in the hospital because they are not aware. Unless it is critical, they don't come to the hospital. So we are going there. So in the slums, almost we are at present working in uh, nine slums in uh, Navi Mumbai and two slums in Panvel. So this uh, clinic with the team of doctors and nurses, it goes in the slums, it goes in the communities there. Uh, we check them, we treat them. If anything critical, we bring them in DY Patin Hospital and uh, NMMC Hospital like that. So medical help is also given. Now when we have made the saving groups and federation, we give them loan also. 
sometimes they need the loan for the marriage or the education of their children so like that uh, we help them also and uh, this is the journey today actually we gave them the training training of gardening training of composting training of leadership then we gave them the training of parenting even and uh, then how to go to police station when to go to police station like that uh, rationing and all this training uh, is given to them but now i'm proud there are the leaders from them now rukmini pal is there mangala dandge is there and they are doing the leadership and they are guiding uh, remaining way speakers also now as i told you our aim is to bring them in the mainstream now they should not roam on the roads and pick the rags so that's why we are doing the project through navi uh, this uh, federation so nmmc has given us five projects it is uh, in uh, digha that is bindu madhav nagar uh, then samta nagar that is airoli then indira nagar then turbe hanuman nagar then adavli botoli which is in kopar kirne all these are slums uh, community area and eight waste pickers are collecting uh the weight and dry garbage of 2000 households and they are collecting this garbage and they are taking to the project there they segregate it weight garbage they are making composting or manure you can say and remaining dry waste it goes for recycling so this is related with environment zero garbage situation we say so now in five areas now they are working almost 45 waste pickers are involved in this work which is given by nmmc then in societies also we are working societies are not uh, till aware actually maza kachra maji zababdari but they are not aware of it then societies we have to conduct the meetings we have to make them aware so your uh, garbage is your own responsibility you have to uh, do here only in the society now like this in uh, almost 15 societies waste pickers are working there also they are taking and with garbage they are making composting and like that so they are almost 80 waste pickers i told 1000 we are united out of that only 80 are in this mainstream uh, they are associated and they are working and they are getting salary it is like a job so uh, our journey is up to this now as i told you <laughs> uh, as you said that you have been conducting medical camps for the right pickers as well so with covid pandemic going on is the awareness being spread about the vaccination the importance of vaccination nahi no, they didn't get the vaccination uh, but the health issues we handle lot actually um, medical help admitting in the hospitals continuously uh, sometimes i used to be on the phone call for a uh, entire day that we gave even galaxy surfactants gave uh, they mask two two mask and uh, then uh, sanitization was given soap was given and like this uh, this help even in the rainy season a rain coat was given to them gum boots were given so uh, Uh, we talk about the rain coat what i was talking about this this medical help in covid even not only medical help uh, we provided them ration kits five times that was given by sintel company uh, then it was given by galaxy company hdfc and like this we had provided them uh, the ration and that was great relief for them because they couldn't go for the rag picking they were at home and uh, even most of them are the widows and otherwise the wives of alcoholic husbands and that's why uh, really their condition was very uh, pathetic but this way we supported them also uh so sangajan also works towards providing educational support to the children of the rag pickers yeah uh, yeah uh, yeah can you please tell us in detail what this support is and uh, how yeah. children have benefited so far yeah 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 uh, definitely i will tell uh, this is the two decade journey and uh, when 2000 we started the children were not in uh, education uh, actually most of them were going to the uh, uh, dumping ground and then we requested nmmc don't allow children to come on the dumping ground like that that was done also and uh, now actually birth certificate they had no birth certificate 
most of them gave birth to their children uh, at home only so uh, we have to we had to start from bringing birth certificates like that we started many of them were in manish high school of an mmc like that uh, slowly we started making this journey then educational help we started getting shri ram memorial trust uh, through this trust radha krishnan as uh, Uh, they are uh, almost giving the uh, they are paying the fees of these students you won't believe last 5 years every year but they, what they do they give the form and then uh, parents have to fill that form we help only them most of them uh, are illiterate only we fill their forms and everything all procedure then radha krishna calls them for the interview through the interview they select it and the money is not given to the parents it is directly given to the check is given directly to the school or colleges last year they helped 120 students and the amount is more than 9 lakh rupees so now these west speakers they are feeling the importance are we are getting fees even bus fees they are paying in bonsari you no know, there is no facility there is no bus facility there is no school they have to come to the turbe and then they have to come for the autos and they cannot afford so almost dropouts are there many but when radha krishna started giving their rickshaw bhada also so now uh, they are interested and now they got the importance is uh, our children should be educated and now you won't believe 10 standard almost last year 20 students were there only one failed in 12 standard also many were there and like this we keep all these records how many are there i would like to tell you, galaxy sir factor through this company through the csr project almost we are running study classes in six places all these are in communities only in panvel bhim nagar community one class is there another is in sarasole indira nagar bonsari rabale digha in six places we are running the classes in the evening 6 to 9 uh, children from 3 to 10 standard they are coming they are sitting and teacher which is graduated one and uh, from the community only so she comes or he comes and uh, teaches the students what he is guiding especially emphasis is given on their english and maths they are weak in that so making them to sit and study that is also important and that we are doing last 5 years so and the support is given by uh, galaxy sir factions uh, in three classes and three classes support is given by uh sri ram memorial trust by radha krishnan so like this uh, now we see the improvement in this uh, besides sintel company you must have heard they have given e bus and it is very exciting for the children this e bus goes in the uh, bonsari and indira nagar community and this is a ac bus children are enjoying and from 4th to 7th standard batch of 20 students they are sitting in that ac bus they have given uh, tabs and on the tabs they are solving uh, examples of maths and then general knowledge and like that the teacher who is teaching them and they are enjoying it this project is also this is the third year almost so they are uh, learning uh, all this uh, e uh, technology also through tabs so this is there and even uh, i would like to share uh, this 20 years journey so kelu londe uh, his mother is west speaker in nausil and uh, he did me we gave all financial support to him and when we took his interview he told that i'm studying and uh, he, they say in a slums dopad patti so he used to study on the road and then uh, he told that when i used to go back uh, at 11 o'clock uh, back to home then mother used to say bak tuza bap kute gela tala shodhan then uh, i used to go back to find out my father and he was drunkard he was somewhere uh, near the gutter and then i used to bring that like that but he completed i mean now he is uh, uh, teaching in uh, one of the college engineering college so that is samadhan gaikwad he wanted to become hotel management course he did it and now he is in one of the hotel like that this is many examples i can give and uh, really as uh, that was our dream and even we are conducting adults and meetings we are making the groups of adults and girls as they need there is a problem of early marriages there is the problem of all these uh, uh, 
because of the social media they are having some misunderstandings and the dropouts are there so uh, we conduct the uh, meetings of the adults and girls we have made their groups they share there and i would like to tell uh, uh, tisc students every year uh, they are coming in uh, sri mukti sangatna for field work and uh, three uh, tis students uh, they were in bonsari they were making dialogues with them they told them to draw some pictures and through those pictures they concluded that some sexual harassment is going on and then um, i myself and my counselor we found out that really nearby there was a company and the security of that company he was uh, doing this sexual harassment to the girls and he was giving some money 500 rupees something like that and then as uh, we went and we told the owner of the company he was even shocked and he was dismissed another example i would like to tell can i tell no yes please yeah. one more example i would like to share in uh, another area uh, that was the nmmc school uh, the girls from 8th standard they uh, they are coming in our study class so one day when uh, our counselor was making dialogues with them they shared that the pune from that school every day is harassing he is asking where do you stay give me address or touching the hand touching the body parts like that and then they complained to the principal also but principal didn't notice one lady teacher was supporting them but there was no use then uh, this counselor she told me then one um, one more meeting we took up them i myself and our counselor we spoke with them and then we they but they were scared they told uh, you don't take our names otherwise we will come in uh, uh, our schools will be perhaps of their parents will not send them to the school like that then uh, we met uh, our nmmc commissioner dr ramaswamy was there we gave him a letter and we did then that day only he dismissed that fellow and uh, next day he Uh, confirm it whether really it is going on he sent that i feel very important next day he sent the education officer in the school and she made a dialogue with uh, those uh, students and then uh, he confirm is yes, really it is going on so uh, like this uh, in education uh, the children uh, they are uh, taking education uh, they are uh, standing on their own feet and uh, so that that i feel uh, we have done a lot of progress in bringing them in education stream really happy to hear all these examples and i can see the pride and the happiness when you are narrating these incidents of you know how the children are progressing uh we know that many of the social workers in fact faced lots of hurdles on the way so what challenges did you face or continue to face till date yeah <laughs> uh, now i have written a book कचरे हिल गोष्ट इन मराठी मोस प्रकाशन इज गोइंग टू पब्लिश दैट बुक एंड ऑल दीज माय रियल एक्सपीरियंसेस आई हैव नैरेटेड इन दैट लॉट ऑफ हर्डल्स इन द वे एक्चुअली व्हेन वी वांट सम राइट्स ऑफ दीज समथिंग आई जस्ट आई टोल्ड वी रिसीव्ड द आइडेंटिटी कार्ड बट बिफोर गेटिंग दैट आइडेंटिटी कार्ड व्हाट वाज स्ट्रगल दैट वी नो ओनली Uh, especially as these hurdles are there, but I have got the tenacity. I don't keep quiet until I get the justice. Even getting entry in the dumping ground, last two decades I am fighting. This NMMC has given the contract to some agencies, and they are troubling. They don't allow them something like that. Then I have to meet the commissioner, and the NMMC is supporting me lot because they know that. And then on on all the time going to the NMMC, then meeting commissioner. then waste management uh, baba saheb rajale sir he is also very much supportive and then uh, like this for these small small things we have to fight even rationing as uh, there is a lot of corruption in rationing so when we go as a social workers they don't ask us money but they don't <laughs> uh, give us uh, ration card or what small small things adding the names and uh, like this because the ration card is very important for them and in rationing i have done lot of struggle actually i have written down two three articles on it even and uh, uh, so a lot of i can tell about this this is a, so many hurdles are there in rationing even in medical help i have to uh, 
work lot and a lot of hurdles are there and uh, you must have uh, read in my bio data also chidko has appointed me as uh, uh, in the committee of this uh, medical committee as whether the poor and needy people get the uh, help what help they should get the help concessional rate because when chidko has allotted the plot that time that was the condition given to all these hospitals so this poor people they should get the uh, treatment free and percentage is there good percentage 10% and either concessional rate or free treatment accordingly their uh, yeah, condition of but they are also i am getting lot of problem so this hospitals are not responding they are not cooperating uh, so then uh, i have to go to higher authority these are all hurdles entire day i am spending but i want to tell you one dy patil hospital so all the time why i have to go to dean dr sureka patil she helps me lot she supports me lot even here in nmmc uh, dr jawade sir he also helps so uh, we are having lot of health problems but easily we don't get anything for that we have to fight we have to ask for that and then uh, these women as i told unless they are critical they don't go to the hospital in covid also as we had so many problems as getting they are uh, and even sometimes i feel that as they are not getting this oxygen or this injection they cannot afford no private hospitals as soon as you enter in the door they are asking for 50000 rupees where they can give so these uh, are hurdles in medical in dishing field in uh, the rights in uh, uh, whatever we want to ask even sanjay gandhi niradhar yojana i uh, all i tried lot because many are widows who is getting that scheme i don't know so uh, we tried lot but like these are the hurdles but we are going away but besides that i always feel that people trust this is the genuine work whatever they are working and that trust is very important and due to that trust so i can i would able to do i would able to reach up to this that that is more important i think uh, we know that women are surging ahead in almost all walks of life but till date we do hear incidents of harassment at workplaces you are a member of uh, Uh, committee so sexual harassment at workplace committee so what help or what support the committee renders to such women and how can they approach you yeah uh, women don't approach me uh, through committee only uh, it is there actually sexual harassment at workplace uh, uh, just i will go little bit back uh, 193 bauri devi uh, see uh, made the complaint she did not get the uh, justice But in 1996, Jay Swarma, he told that sexual harassment uh, uh, committee at workplace should be formed in all organized and unorganized sector. It was told in 96, but in 2000, so uh, the um, people came ahead and they started forming the committees. Even uh, 2013, the law came in 2013. Uh, and then when 2000 uh, supreme court gave the guidelines then accordingly uh, mumbai university they sent the circular and they sent that uh, all colleges should form the this committee some people are saying internal complaint committee don't they don't say sexual harassment at workplace i don't know why internal complaint committee and even in colleges they say uh, women uh, development cell and uh, uh, another one uh, they they are forming the gender issue cell like that uh, they are forming and even um, sometimes uh, internal complaint committee 2000 when chidko uh, has formed this through social department uh, this committee sexual harassment committee and according to the guidelines so that should be displayed on the notice board and when it was displayed on the notice board i was working actually in this committee all the members are from the company office like that all the and chairperson is the lady so chairperson uh, is lady in the sidko and remaining members almost are there and one ngo representative why ngo representative is made mandatory because that representativity is impartial impartially he can say something so uh, in sidko so many uh, cases started coming still i remember what 2000 one lady gave the complaint one man was harassing her, her following her and she was unmarried he was taking the advantage of that he was making phone call all these complaints he gave four pages complaints he wrote to committee 
and then when that man was called actually he didn't come but the lady came and she gave a small note i am taking my complaint back maji takrar mage geta hai like that she gave us then we couldn't do anything in 2000 but 2016 uh, the picture is totally changed one girl she fought like anything and then she provided so many witnesses and everything mobile uh, conversation she had and then all this she produced and accordingly as decision taken one more thing i want to tell in sexual harassment workplace committee a uh, decision is not taken recommendations are given for example in chirko recommendations will be given by the committee to the higher authority that is md and then that will be implemented by md in nmmc as i am in the committee of nmmc also in nmmc what is done the recommendations are given by committee committee of six people seven people are there and then uh, commissioner is supposed to take decision committee has got the rights like court and normally recommendations are not denied according to that it is implemented only i work in cisa central industrial security force ladies are very less 3% ladies are there in security force and they are facing lot of harassment and then these cases when we are handling and the security force is very strict and they are taking very strict action so then witnesses and that we have to work lot so this sexual harassment at workplace committee now almost it is form in all organized and organized sector i work in colleges also icl college is there somia college ir bunde college is there state bank of india i am in the ngo representative and almost we have handled so many cases in colleges also they complain about this professors and all that that also we had handled so what is behind this sexual harassment it should be there in all colleges even in all uh, sectors even that shows that so this we may have the right to work in healthy and safe atmosphere that is behind this and women should get justice in this you are also member of mahila dakshata samiti navi mumbai police commissionerate Uh, can you please tell us in detail what this committee is all about hmm. uh, ani mahila dakshata uh, uh, one and half decade i work uh, in this committee almost mahila dakshata committee uh, same like this family problems uh, as i told sri mukti sangathana we are having kautubik salla kendra like that only the family problems are coming there in mahila dakshata two counselors are there they are supposed to be msw and uh, there uh, the counseling is done to the girl another side the boy is also called and then counseling is done uh, they are trying what we say ki uh, to unite the family they guide them and what is there uh, sometimes sri mukti sangathana's cases go to mahila dakshata even mahila dakshata cases come to the sri mukti sangathana also the advice and counseling is given in mahila dakshata but this sometimes what happens the it is associated with police so that pressure is there um, on the side of the boy and that uh, works and so the and that is the what my message would you like to give to the citizens uh, i uh, i won't give the message but i would like to share something what i feel so we call it parivartan this is the time change should come as i really feel and uh, what i see around me uh, there is a big gap in rich and poor poor are uh, striving for the bread a daily bread they don't have shelter they don't have even in a clues on the other hand rich people they are living uh, in a such a comforts lavish life having two two three three flats and they are becoming it is it may be impact of globalization so i see around me that uh, people are becoming money minded self centered they think about themselves family of four people only and then all this when i see ki what i feel ki okay it is okay so whatever lifestyle you are having but still you have some contribution with the society that feeling should be there in each one's mind so you how to contribute something to the society you have to do you are doing your daily routine okay you are in it section you have you are working lot 
but still you should do something those who are um, what i can say abandoned and even uh, neglected from the society and these for these people you have to do something that i always feel and uh, perhaps uh, uh, you may be knowing karandikar uh, famous poet in marathi and he wrote that denarane det jave genarane get rave genarane edivshi denarache hat vave so this is doing something and samaj bhan we call it so this is there this should be there and uh, why we should do people ask me why you are doing this so i tell i get satisfaction i am not doing for others for my satisfaction for me for myself i am doing it so that's why what pleasure you are expecting or you are taking lavish life that is temporary you get the pleasure but that is not permanent but you do you try you do something for the society that's what satisfaction you will get and that is permanent i think and that's why uh, i always feel that actually we are having the team of volunteers helping me in the uh, making dialogues with adults and group but we need lot we need the volunteers for the um, to go to the police station for home visits for uh, making reports filling the excel sheets so many things are that but i'm not talking of my organization but what i want to say at least this uh, social awareness samaj bhan that should be there in every small small things you do you spend you donate your money that even people don't want you donate your money you uh, spend your time even you do counseling whatever you like and that satisfaction is more this is not my message but why i experienced uh, that and uh, we it is lacking in the society and uh, that should take place as and i would like to conclude i think last one hour i am talking so i would like to conclude with this uh, as uh, that is a robert frost poem uh, robert frost said that uh, the woods are lovely dark and deep but i have to keep my promises miles to go before you sleep miles to go before you sleep once again i thank uh, varada for uh, inviting me and the team of the news van thank you once again thank Thanks. you so much mrs nandum for such inspirational conversation and the viewers request you all to please follow all the covid 19 protocols stay safe stay healthy thank you thank you